Have you ever wanted wanted to have an alternative timeline, an alternative universe, where we didn't have to hear a sim simple song in the year of 2022? And that theme song was called Bad Reputation. So in this, so in today's video, I'm going to be making you guys a what if scenario. This is the first what if scenario I have made since my old AJ Lee videos. So. This what if is what if Ronda Rousey didn't return to WWE? More specifically, what if Sasha Banks actually did win the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble match as she was originally planned to instead of it being changed at the last minute to Ronda Rousey? So in this alternative timeline, we're going to be making a few changes. One of those changes is that the rumours of Ronda Rousey returning to WWE was still active, but instead, let's just say Vincent Mann thought about it, but in this alternative timeline, he does not bring her back. Say he changes her, he changes his mind, and he doesn't bring Ronda Rousey back. And as you all know, he was still in charge before, you know, before SummerSlam, before Triple H took over. So let's just say something in Vince's mind made him decide not to bring Ronda Rousey back. And Ronda Rousey's original number will give, we'll say that can end up go to, hmm, let's just say that goes to NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose, because Mandy Rose was the champion during that time period, during that time. So anyway, this is What If Sasha Banks Won the Women's Royal Rumble match in the year of 2022. So get into your time machines and we're going to travel back to the year of 2022. January. Royal Rumble time. The Royal Rumble plays out as per normal. It happens exactly the same way it does. Not really much changes. The Women's Royal Rumble match only has one change. And that is minus Ronda Rousey. Mandy Rose has her entry number instead because they couldn't. You know, they couldn't come to an agreement, or Vince McMahon just ultimately decided not to bring her back. And the other alternative change is the obvious, that Zelina Vega does not eliminate Sasha Banks. Sasha does still come out at number one, though. She still does come out at number one. Melina comes in at number two. Sasha eliminates her, and then eventually also eliminates Kelly Kelly, who came in at number four. So the Royal Rumble match plays out as as it normally does, as like it normally did last year. Plays out as normal with Liv and Aaliyah getting some good time in there. Charlotte Flair eventually enters the ring around about 12, 13, can't really remember for sure. But then we get to the change. The change is that the entry number that Ronda came out in, 29, ends up being Mandy Rose, the NXT Women's Champion. She walks out with her two friends, takes the title off, just raises it up, passes it over to her friends, and then she goes to the ring. She cleans house for a fair bit. Her and Sasha Banks have a couple of moments together. Her and Charlotte Flair have a few moments. And one other particular point that actually changes is that instead of Zelina Vega eliminating Sasha Banks, Sasha ends up eliminating her instead. That is the other change that we've decided to make. That I have decided to make. So then we get to the final four. The final four ends up being Bianca, Rhea, Charlotte, and Sasha Banks. These are the final four in the Women's Royal Rumble match. Bianca Belair eventually eliminates Rhea Ripley. Charlotte eliminates Bianca Belair. And then we come down to the final two between Charlotte and Sasha Banks. Now, you know how Gunther and Cody Rhodes had their incredible final two moment where they actually had a really good wrestling match? Let's just take that and we'll put that here in this Rumble match. So many close calls where we th where, where you think Charlotte's going to win. A couple of close calls where, where it looks like Sasha Banks is going to win. But eventually, Sasha Banks is able to catch Charlotte by surprise. Sasha is dangling against the ropes. Charlotte runs forward as she goes to boot her in the face. Sasha drops the ropes down and Charlotte falls out of the ring. And Sasha Banks is your Royal Rumble winner. Sasha Banks wins 
the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble match. And she doesn't waste any time looking directly at Charlotte and pointing at the WrestleMania sign. She, she quickly informs everybody that she wants Charlotte at WrestleMania. Now, I know a lot of you will be asking the big, big question. What happens to Naomi? Because a lot of people know that, that because when Sasha didn't win the Royal Rumble, she ended up going into a storyline with Naomi becoming a tag team and eventually becoming tag team champions. So what happens to Naomi in this alternative storyline? Well, it was, well, let's use what one of the reports said. Let's use, let's use a story that one of the reports said. There was a report that went around claiming that Sasha Banks was originally going to win the Royal Rumble match and Naomi was originally going to go on and win the Tag Team Championships with her longtime friend and former Funkadactyl, Cameron. So, let's just put that in this story. Let's say Cameron gets re-signed by WWE and she and Naomi become a tag team. They, they become a tag team, Cameron becomes a babyface, teams up with Naomi. And Naomi's feud with Sonya Deville does still happen, but the one big change I'm going to make is that instead of Natalia and Shayna Baszler being the tag team at WrestleMania, it's going to be Sonya and Shayna. Sonya and Shayna decide to work together to take down Naomi and Cameron, because Sonya doesn't like Naomi. So that is the other change I'm going to make. Some people may not like that change, but, you know, I had to do something for Naomi. I couldn't leave her in the dust. So what happens with the Sasha Banks storyline? Well, Sasha and Charlotte have a couple of promos together. They have a couple of promos going back and forth at each other. And then one week on SmackDown, Sasha Banks takes down Sonya Deville in a singles match. This leads to Shayna Baszler and Charlotte both 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 attacking Sasha Banks. Sonya joins in and it's a 3 on 1 attack. Until we hear the th until we hear feel the glow, Naomi and Cameron run down and assist Sasha Banks. They assist her and they help and they and they help Sasha Banks run Charlotte and her two little cronies off. Then we get to a six women's tag team match. A couple of weeks before WrestleMania. Yeah, not going to go through the entire time period. We're just going to quickly fast forward. We're going to quickly fast forward through everything. But everything leading up to WrestleMania, like originally, like last year, does happen as, as per normal. So nothing else changes. Only this storyline here is particularly different. Is particularly different. So... Then we get a six women's tag team match a couple of weeks before WrestleMania. Sasha Banks teams with, with the Funkadactyls to take on Sonya, Shayna, and the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. This six women's tag team match is labeled as the main event of SmackDown. And this six women's tag team match gets put in the main event slot. So, throughout this match, Cameron is the one taking the beat down. She's been getting beat. She's being isolated and beaten down by all three members of the heel team. Sonya Deville being crafty, making sure Naomi and Sasha does not interfere. They they continuously take them out to keep the numbers in their advantage. Cameron continues to get beaten down until finally Cameron finds an opening. She takes down Deville and finally finds an opening, and she's able to tag. Sasha Banks in. Sonya makes the tag to Flair, and then Banks and Flair go at it. Banks and Flair beat the hell out of each other, throwing punches and kicks at each other, hitting each other with their big moves, until Naomi dives through the ropes, takes out takes out Shayna Baszler, and Ka and Cameron is able is able to take down Deville and keep her out of the equation. Charlotte tries the natural selection, but then gets reversed. Charlotte tries the big boot, get Sasha ducks underneath. Sasha does a hurricanrana into the bank statement, forcing Flair to tap out in the middle of the ring. Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks just submitted Charlotte Flair on an episode of SmackDown two weeks away before WrestleMania. And then on the final week, on the final show, the go-home show, 
on the Go Home Show, DeVille beats Cameron in a singles match. But you guys don't care about that. I just wanted to randomly bring that up. And then we get the contract signing between Sasha Banks and Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair talks about their past, their, their rivalry in 2016. She talks about how she has defeated Sasha Banks 100% of the time at a pay-per-view. Sasha Banks cannot beat her when with the big lights. With the big WrestleMania lights. The big lights on a pay-per-view. She brings up how she's defeated Sasha Banks at Hell in a Cell. In the first ever women's Hell in a Cell. She defeated Sasha Banks at SummerSlam in 2016. How she was the first Iron Woman on the main roster. She talks about She's talked about how they had a historic rivalry in 2016. And she goes on to say that it'll be just like in 2016. You bowing down to the Queen. Sasha, tell, Sasha bites back by telling Charlotte Flair that you may be the queen, but I'm the boss, and I will finally prove once and for all that I can be the face of WWE. I can be the standard bearer. I can be the poster, the poster girl of this women's division. You have been the name and face of the women's division for far too long, and it's time for someone else to knock you off your throne and to knock you off permanently. Sasha vows to knock Charlotte off off her little throne permanently at WrestleMania. They both back they both bicker back and forth a little more, taking jabs at each other, and they both sign on the dotted lines. And then they brawl. Then a brawl breaks out between the two ladies. Charlotte ends up standing tall by power bombing banks through through the table with the contract on it. Charlotte raises her title, and that closes off their build at WrestleMania. And now it's time for WrestleMania itself, the main event of Night 1. Everything at WrestleMania happens as per normal, with Cody returning, Roman becoming the undisputed champion, so all that remains the same. The, the two things that are obviously different is the is the two things that do remain the same is the fatal four way for the women's tag team titles. Liv and Rhea are still a team until the Judgment Day happens. Zelina and Ka- Zelina and Carmella are still tag team champions, but the only two changes are the two teams. Naomi is now teaming with Cameron, and is, and Shayna is now teaming with Sonya. So that's the fatal four way. Naomi and Cameron become the tag team champions. They are the new tag team champions. And then the main event is is Sasha Banks and Charlotte Flair. Their match has been named the main event of night one. And Sasha Banks and Charlotte Flair both get epic, epic, epic entrances at the grandest stage. Charlotte rise, comes down from the heavens like she's, like she's God, like she's Jesus Christ herself. Like she's God, like she's like she's ascending from her throne, while, Sha- while while Sasha Banks has the same entrance she did originally, just without Naomi, just without Naomi. She drives out in her little car, just minus Naomi riding in it. That's really that's really the only thing that would really change. But then the classic of the ages: these two women put on a hell of a main event, and then we'll get to the closing moments. This is where the match starts getting intense. Charlotte and Banks continue to beat the hell out of each other. There, there's just no quit in either woman. Charlotte gets the upper hand with a boot to the face. With a boot to the face, tries to figure eight, Banks blocks. Char- Charlotte tries to fight back, but, but, Charlotte, but Sasha gets the upper hand. Charlotte with a few knees to the face, wears down, ba- wears down Flair, goes up to the top rope for the Meteora, Charlotte catches her and, 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 and does a fall away slam. She, do, she goes for her back fist, Sasha blocks, but then runs into a boot to the face. And then, natural selection, Charlotte thinks she has it won, the referee counts the two, but, but Sasha kicks out, surviving. Charlotte gets frustrated, she, she starts getting frustrated, and she, continue, and she tries the natural selection again. She hits it again, Banks kicks out again. Charlotte's starting to get annoyed that she cannot put Sasha away. Michael Cole is screaming on commentary. Charlotte tries to figure eight. Sasha kicks Flair away, and Flair accidentally knocks into the referee. 
this is where we're going to make a few... This is where one thing is going to be very cool happen here. Sonya Deville comes down with Shayna Baszler. Sonya gives Charlotte Flair a pair of brass knuckles. She gives her a pair of brass knuckles to use because Sonya is still an authority figure around this time. But the new tag team champions, Naomi and Cameron, come down to make sure Sonya and Shayna do not try anything funny. The, they, they, brawl, they brawl up the stage. That, te- that ends them. Charlotte grabs the brass knuckles, cracks Banks in the face with the brass knuckles. Michael Cole is screaming on commentary. The referee wakes up. The referee wakes up and Sasha Banks kicks out just before the referee's hand came down for the three. Charlotte is screaming. She's throwing a temper tantrum in the ring. She's smacking her hands on the on the ring canvas. She is livid. She's absolutely livid that she still did not put Sasha away. Charlotte now gets desperate. She grabs the SmackDown Women's Championship. She does not care that she's going to get disqualified at this point. She does not give a damn about, about it. Charlotte grabs the title. She starts screaming, You will never beat me! You will never beat me! She, she runs, swings the title, and then Banks debuts her new move. A spinning code breaker, as I call it, the rents do. If you've watched my universe modes, you've seen her do it before. She does a spinning code breaker, the rents do. The title flies out of Flair's hands. Flair spins around as she sells the move. Banks jumps on her and wrestles her down into the bank statement. Center of the ring. Not not nowhere to go. Flair's got no ropes to reach. And then Flair taps out. And we have a brand new SmackDown Women's Champion. Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks cries of tears of joy as she raises the title up. Michael Cole going crazy on commentary that it's boss time. And Cameron and Naomi also come down to celebrate with Banks. All three raise their titles up as Pyro explodes as we dawn in a new era. And that is how WrestleMania Night 1 comes to an end. And there you have it. That is what I think would happen if, Sa- if Ronda Rousey never came back and we had Sasha Banks winning the Royal Rumble instead. You guys let me know down below your thoughts and opinions. Did you guys agree with this? Did you guys agree with this video? Did you guys like what I like what I get pre- presented to you guys? Is there anything you would change? Let me know down below. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you guys did enjoy this video, if you want to see a part two... I may consider doing a part two, but but until then, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you all on the other side.